Seriously, Texas, you need to take it easy. 102 degrees outside, but we are at Traxxas, my friends. What is up, guys? My name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog. Yes, guys, we're back at Traxxas. I caught wind that there's some new accessories we need to check out. Again, as always, I have not a clue what they are. I'm going to be just as surprised as you guys, so let's go check these out. Ooh. What's up, fellas? Front and center, right when you walk in, the new Cheyenne is out for display, but they don't have the other colors out. I was hoping we could get a look at the other colors, the white, not the white, the red and the blue. They only have the black, which I think the black looks the best, so. Hey, look at that guy. His hazards are on. All right, they started stocking the Cheyenne stuff. So here are the longer chassis rails. Here are the wheels, but check this out. Now they have foams. So this is like a softer foam and here's a firm foam, but I don't know if it's necessarily made for the Cheyenne. We're gonna get a set and try them on the stock TRX4Ms also, the Bronco and the Defender. And then right here, I actually need this. I actually came in because I was gonna get a hitch for my Cheyenne, but I didn't even realize the Cheyenne was that much higher. This is like a drop down hitch. So we're gonna pick up one of these also, but the Cheyenne parts are starting to roll in. I think they got shock towers in there. Oh man, I got a lot of work to do. Look at that guys. I told Andy I wanted to see the other colors and he busted them out. Here's the blue, the black and the red. In the comments guys, tell me which ones you like the best or which one you like the best. I, I'm still, I'm a fan of the black one. I think it looks really, really good, but that blue does look pretty sick. Look at that. Oh, man. All right, we're about to leave. As always, I just got to do one last walkthrough because it's just so much fun walking through. Look at all the bodies up here. Walking through all the cars and seeing all the different colorways and paint schemes. Oh, God, they're just so freaking sweet. Hot rods. Jeez. Actually, I want, oh, look, they're still on sale, by the way. There you go. I'll put a link in the description below because you can't get those online. But two for two nine nine, man, you cannot beat that. Those hot rods are freaking sick. All the slashes. They're actually looking a little thin. They got some spots missing. They do have a nice stock of the bags. So the verdict's in. I actually like the duffel bag better. I know it's just a duffel bag, but I feel like I can put a lot more in there. Uh, I've been using my duffel bag like crazy. This is really, really cool too, but I, I just haven't been using it as much as a duffel bag, but look at it. Yeah, they're pretty sick. They have a whole bunch up here. So if you're in this area, come check it out. Pick some up. Guys, the Fiesta. I don't have one. Or do I? Like and subscribe. All right, we got some good stuff, guys. I'm super excited. I'm supposed to go do some test hits tonight because I am number one on the RTR drag racing list. I need to do some test hits, some testing, but I want to install this cool stuff that I got. I got some cool stuff I got to show y'all. All right, guys, here's what I got. Don't you see that? Dang it. I gotta save the best for last, sorry guys. So I did end up getting the foams. I got both kinds, just to try them out. I got the firm and then the, I guess the soft. So there's two sets of foams. Apparently you can put them in any TRX4M, so we're gonna try them out. I don't know if we'll try them out in this video, but we'll try them out. And I did get the hitch for my, my TRX4M Cheyenne, but, what you guys have been waiting for is this. Check this out. They have TRX4M light bars now. Yes, guys, light bars. Apparently the installation is really easy. We're gonna put them on today and see what they're like, but check that out. It says LED, LED light bar kit TRX4M includes front light bar, roof light bar mounts, and a hardware. Fits 9711 and 9712 bodies, which I believe are the Defender and Bronco bodies. And then this, guys, this is gonna be so cool. Boom, these are utility trailer lights. So this is pro scale trailer lights, LED light set TRX4M fits 9795, the utility trailer, I did bring it. But apparently there's running running lights, brake lights, reverse lights, and hazard lights with the trailer. Oh my God, that's gonna be so sick. And I saw them, they had them installed on a trailer in the shop. It has this little box that goes on the front trailer. We're gonna install them today, I'll show you, but Man, this thing is super cool. So in regards to what we're gonna install it on, because they don't have the, the Pro Scale kit for the Cheyenne yet, we're not gonna install it on the Cheyenne. We are going to install it on this beautiful beast. This is the TRX4 Defender. 
but it's in the orange. I love the orange. I got all the red stuff on the bottom. And then I bought this stuff a while back. I haven't installed these yet. These are the skid plates for the front and rear axle and then on the center chassis skid plate. I'll put links in the description for all this stuff below, but I got a lot of work to do because I want to install this. It's getting dark. It's going to be perfect, which by the way, we're at our drag testing facility. If I haven't mentioned it, I am number one on the list right now. I'm not sure if I told you I was number one, but I am number one on the list right now. I'm sorry guys, when you're number one, you gotta get your jabs in when you can because I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be up there, but I am number one on the list right now if I have mentioned it. And hopefully I stay number one because right now I am number one. All right, let's install this stuff. I mean, I guess it could be viewed as a little strange that I'm in a random abandoned parking lot working on RC cars. I'm waiting for Brett, he's almost here. He's supposed to be here already, he's actually running late. I think Brett's number seven? No, he's number six right now. I'm number one, if you haven't noticed yet. I'm sorry, guys. I honestly, I did not think I was going to make to number one. I had a really, really good list shakeup night. I went undefeated. I won in all three rounds. I even won in some grudge race and won some money afterwards. It was just my night. So I did end up number one. All right, enough of the BS. Let's get to wrenching. It's going to be get dark soon. Luckily, I brought lights. The directions look easy enough. What's up, dude? All right, man. Don't be mad. Yeah, I've seen those. You've seen those? I have one. Not this, of course. Does that one make you a little mad? That's cool. <laughs> Super cool, man. You haven't seen the tracks as ones, though, have you? So I'm gonna try to put them on tonight. That is cool. They said that it's easy to install, so we'll find out here in a second. Oh, God, that's bright. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. <laughs> that is some major lightage. Holy smokes. Reverse lights. That's just a regular Pro Scale kit. I already had that on there, but look at those. You can't even see that because the camera can't even get it. That is a lot of light. Jeez, that's bright. Got a pit light. Not a paid product placement, by the way. I just really like this pit light. I am sponsored by ProTech, but. All right, next up, trailer lights. They said these are easy to install. We're about to find out. A lot of pieces here okay i think i have it all installed it's actually really easy to install the trailer lights there's like these little inserts you can kind of see it let me see if i move ah, i can't do that basically there's these little rubber inserts that you kind of just wedge into the channel on the bottom of the trailer and it holds your wires in place so it was super easy the wiring needless to say integrates flawlessly they give you a little connector so it should be hooked up now hopefully everything works as designed Oh, we got tail lights on the trailer. Let's see this. Oh, and reverse lights. Okay, hold on. I'm getting too excited. I put all this stuff on. Oh man, it's in. The lights are installed. Oh man, here it is, guys. Look at this. All right, first off, the trailer. Look at those brake lights. The brake lights are brighter on the trailer than on the actual truck. Reverse lights on the trailer also. Look at these freaking light bars. Look how bright that is. That is incredibly bright. An insane amount of brightness. Oh my goodness. That looks so sick. The TRX4M accessories are just insane. Oh, it's so smooth too. Man, <laughs> look at that. Wow. So in regards to the install, the install was super easy on both the light bar kit and the trailer kit. I will say I'm glad I decided to put the light bars on the Defender. When you put the light bars on the Defender, it comes with another grill that you can use. Whereas if you put it on a Bronco, you actually have to drill a hole through the grill. No matter what, you do have to put a hole through the top of the body, but you can see how the, I guess this is a ballast or whatever circuit board covers it up so you don't even see it. But the lights integrate so well, everything looks so clean. Yeah, I highly recommend it. It's a really, really cool, tasteful hop-up. So here's another thing to note on how the connector connects the trailer to the car. So let me see if there's a better side I can get it. So basically, this blue connector just comes out, and it comes with the adapter. And there's this three-prong connector that goes into the adapter that mounts on the back side of your hitch. So just as I imagine, the Traxxas light kits integrate perfectly. Everything's nice and clean. Very, very cool. Well, that's a wrap, guys. I gotta do some testing, because I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I'm number one on the list. For now. No, I'm number one on the list. Yeah, for I guess now. for now, it's true. Hopefully I can stay number one on the list, because I think our next list race is next week. I don't think, I know it's next week. I'll keep y'all posted on that, but I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time.
Later, guys.